Hi, my name is Sid. I'd just like to pass on a few little words about the way I handle colour. By colour I mean an exact copy of what I took a picture of. Your picture is going on a long journey. It's going from the object to take a picture of, through the processor in the camera to the card. From the card through to what I use is Photoshop CS4. From Photoshop CS4 to the Epson printer. And the printer itself produces the end result. I have put my picture next door to what I took a picture of. It should be the same. Colours should be the same. Now, what are colours? What, what colours do we need? If I send a picture to someone in Australia and I send it with an embedded profile, which it usually has, whether it's RGB, sRGB, it could be COMK. If I send the picture, you should put it on their monitor and it should be exactly the same colour because the colours have a name, they have a pattern. You have to know who you're talking about. If I walked into the room and say, I said, oh, hello John, that's Sid and that's John. Well, colours need a name. Well, the International Consortium got together and worked out colours. What is red? What is blue? What is? And in order to do that, they got together and produced a Macbeth chart, which is now x right colour chart. The colours here are not printed. They're painted. And they're guaranteed to be a Pacific colour. As long as it's kept in the outer sunlight, laptop, it comes out once a year while I take my camera picture to reassure myself that my colours are correct. Now, red here won't look anywhere near like red on there because that's sRGB, this is RGB. This is true colour. I bring up the chart of true colour. Right, we've all got a name. There's red. Red's got a name. Two or three simple red. So if you say two or three, it's like saying, hi Sid. Oh, two or three red. Yeah, there it is, that red. Not pinky red or salmon red, but red. Each colour in the profile has a name. Speaking of colours, the SRGB is purely for the web. And what you get for the web are a reduced colour collection. Colours for prints, colours for billboards, magazines are RGB. They give a true depth of colour. But what colour? What I do is I'll use a grey card, you know, everyone must have used one of them, at one point or another. Set my white balance to manual and set my grey card default. I will then take a picture of a McGrath or X right you know, colour chart. Fill the screen completely. Now, I've done that, and I'm transferring it over to Photoshop, which it opens up in RAW. Now when it opens up into RAW, 
I then take the white balance and set the white balance. And this is the white balance that you set with the grey card, the second one in. And when it opens into the JPEG, I then take my pen tool, the centre corners of the chart, and run a script. Now scripts are what I sent for. This is a script, art calibrator. Um, more about scripts later because you have to send off for these. But I'm sure if you contact x right or Rags, which is the scripts, they will provide you with a script. And the object of that story is that along will come a list. And this list will tell me just what to set on my camera. Via Photoshop. So in Photoshop, while it's in RAW, there's a small camera top right hand corner. Click that. And underneath there, I'll put these settings in. Red U, minus 9. Green Sat, 13. See, green sats 36 minus. What he received here, and what he perceives in Photoshop, is not what would have gone through if I had just left it without any colour correction. Anyway, I'll save that, and that is my new camera raw default. Now we've got a big thing coming on now. Calibrate your screen. I don't care if you use a UI, I don't care if you use a Spider 2. I use Colour Monkey myself. I used to use Spider 2. Well, the reason I use Colour Monkey now is I also write my own scripts for printing. So, up to now, we've calibrated the camera to take a picture, the camera sensor to record the picture, the camera sensor to pass on to Photoshop for what it means by colours interpreted by numbers and I want the screen now to look like what I took a picture of so I need to calibrate the screen now when your screen's calibrated you end up with a masterpiece like this I, I know it's a masterpiece, I took it and the reason I'm saying it's a masterpiece so colours are exactly the same as what I took and that was the old hymn. 